Oh, I came in the kitchen and there is a present sitting on the counter for me. You want to see what it is? It's over here. This is our journey. Welcome to the Bettencourt's Homestead. So you all know I'm friends with some really cool brewers and sometimes they'll gift me with their little grains. Oh yeah, the spent grains are here again. What am I gonna do with this? I'm going to portion some of it out into one cup measurements and stick it in the freezer because I can make bread with the one cuppers. Um, one cup in a loaf of bread. I could even make spent grain scones. <gasps> That sounds good. Mm. But the rest of it, I'm going to put on my dehydration trays and I'm going to dehydrate it and turn it into flour. So step one, we're going to portion it out and start dehydrating it. Ready for the freezer? This is how I store things. I flatten them out so that when I stick them in the freezer, they'll defrost faster. Freezer. Hair up, hands washed, Time to put them on. We're just going to spread even layers on my dehydrator mats. The more even it is, the faster it will dehydrate. Off to the dehydrator we go. There you go, under 10 minutes, I got it all processed in the dehydrator and now I just have to clean up. What a pleasant surprise that was. By now, many of you are probably asking, what am I gonna do with that? That, like, you should throw that out. No, you don't throw that out. We can grind it into flour. We can add the spent grain whole into our baked goods and we can take the flour and substitute out part of the other flour and put that in to get a depth of flavor that is un, you can't purchase it in the store. That's a great question. I am love to tell you. Simply, home brewers use grains to ferment them to make their beer product. And then some of them just throw them away because they don't have a use for them. Some people put them in the compost bins. Some people feed them to their chickens or add them into their chicken feed. Um, there's like lots of different uses for them, but some people just throw them away because they don't want to find uses for them. And that's where I come in. I ask them and beg them for the grain because um, I have found that there are some breweries that have restaurants attached to them and they take their spent grains and make them into breads and they're delicious. And I was like, if they can do it, why can't I? So that's why I started dehydrating them, turning them into flour and then taking the actual grain that's still intact and mixing it in my bread products. It makes a really great bread product. Um, and you know, I'm saving it from the landfill. I am not sure on the nutritional value, quite honestly. It's in my, I'm just adding a little bit. You're not replacing flour for flour one-to-one. -one. You're just taking like a quarter of a cup out and adding a quarter of a cup in of your, of your homemade one. It is absolutely delicious. And the flavor that it adds to your product, I like. It's an adult taste. I use them in cornbread, graham crackers, breads. Um, I haven't tried cookies yet, but I do want to. And I think I'm gonna try scones this time. I think scones will be on the list. Thanks for asking the question. It really is a good question because I had no clue. This, this grain bucket that I had, he used corn, oats, barley, and rye. I always ask what it was because sometimes I wanna make like rye bread and I could add some, but he said corn was the predominant. So if that's the case, um, then yeah. I could make cornbread with it and it would it would accent the cornbread. Or I could make scones and the corn and the oats would accent the scones. So I'm gonna play around with this one. Each batch is totally different, which means this is it on this one. I probably will never receive this one again. Let the fun begin, the grains are dry. So now let's grind them into flour. The idea is, is to get them all off and into this bowl and oh they are dried nicely now because it has some hard pieces in there 
we're gonna have to run it through a blender. So first it's gonna go in the blender and then it's gonna go in the grinder. Let's go. That's all of it. It's labeled with what it is and what it was made with, what kind of grains are in it, and that's it. Simply gonna pop it in the freezer, and when I need some, I'll take it out and use it frozen. That is a really good question, and the answer is yes and no. So when I use my spent grain, I use them in two ways. One, I use them fresh, and I just take cup at a time or however much a recipe calls for and I use them just like that just as they're given to me. Two, I dehydrate them and I either use them dry just like they are dehydrated, the grains themselves, or I send them through my grain mill and make them into flour. So there you go. It's yes and no. It's actually really interesting messing and playing with them and that's what we're going to start doing a lot of right now. So stay tuned. Great question. He did a brew and Azure has this eight grain or nine grain mix and he uh, was playing with it, home brewing stuff, and he brings this in and he puts it on the counter. It's a gift for me. It's a gift. And I can't figure out what to do with it. So we're going to go up and do cards while I think about it. I kind of am thinking crackers. We haven't done crackers on here. I'm thinking I should do crackers. But who knows? We're just going to leave it here for now. Off to the side. Because I got Christmas cards. Yes. I got to make Christmas cards. Remember that gift that was given to by the brewer of the nine grains that he bought from Azure Standard? Uh, it's got a whole bunch of crushed nine grains like oats and all kinds of stuff in it. And he was using it, using it to make a brew concoction of his beer stuff. And... Um, I used it to make crackers, the spent stuff, the old stuff, the stuff that he was, you know, usually would go to the landfill or you couldn't even use it for chicken feed because it's fermented. It's still got a bit of alcohol in it. I made crackers. I don't know what it was about when I saw it that just made me think crackers, but I mean, did you see that? It flew everywhere. I made crackers. Look at this. These literally are amazing and crispy and light and crunchy. I love making crackers. Oh, man, that's good. So I need to make it a couple more times just to get the measurements perfect. And then I will be releasing it out to you guys. So stay tuned for a future video. This is all I have been working on right here is uh, playing around with crackers. She just shared these crackers she's been holding out on me with. They're delicious. We need to make better friends with this brewer. You need more. <laughs> you need more grain, girl. Because these crackers are the bomb. Yeah. Let's start